This Conrad model is an exclusive release by Heavy Transport Models and it's of an MAN TGX tractor and a Goldhofer trailer. It's in the colours of HN Kraner, the German heavy haulage and cranage company. It comes with an instruction sheet and that describes most of the assembly of the model in pictorial form. And there's no other information provided either about the real machine or HN Kraner. Inside the box the parts are nicely packaged with the tractor, um, a heavy gooseneck, a pair of Goldhofer modules and also tucked in the slot is a plastic bag full of the many parts that you need to join up all of the different configurations of the model. Among the other parts is the main deck frame and that's already assembled in the box. As usual for a Conrad truck you need to separate a few of the small parts with a sharp modelling knife and then you can assemble the smaller parts onto the tractor. As usual for the MAN trucks, there's a small mirror arrangement opposite the driver's side. You just clip a little mirror on and then they just press into holes on the cab doors. Usually they fit pretty well, but if not, just use a little bit of plastic putty or something in the holes. On the roof there are a couple of aerials to fit and it's best to use some tweezers or something that allows you to apply pressure just above the hole and that allows you to fix them in quite easily. And at the rear there's an optional second towing hitch that just presses into place. We will now assemble the Goldhofer trailer in its normal configuration and the first point is that the rear module should have the elbow joints pointing to the rear and we'll start by adding the light board which just simply presses into the back of the Goldhofer module because of the thickness of the paint um, it may be a little bit stiff to get in but it just normally presses in and sticks on quite firmly. Next to be added is the main deck frame and that just presses into the front of the module a bit like the uh, light board at the rear Again, the uh, thickness of the paint on the connections might mean it's a pretty stiff to get in, and it was on the review model. Um, but when it's pressed in, you can then just secure the connection by putting in the uh, plastic pin that Conrad provides. And as long as the holes are lined up, then that pin will press in uh, reasonably easily, and it produces a very strong and stable connection. So that's the rear end of the trailer done, and we can now move to the front end. And to start with, the elbow joints on the front module need to point towards the front of the trailer. The connection of the gooseneck to the module is just the same as the others. Again, you press it in and uh, it forms quite a tight joint. And again, use a plastic pin through the connecting holes. And that forms a connection which is uh, rock solid. Lastly, you need to fit an adapter piece to the back of the module. And this is the part which the deck hooks onto and it's exactly the same connection mechanism it pushes into place and then you pin it through with one of the plastic pins. As seen here sometimes the connections are a very tight fit and so you, if you want you can clean out the holes with a screwdriver to make the fit easier. The last and easiest connection on the trailer is just to hook over the deck frame onto the module adapter and then you've formed the trailer and um, we can add that to the fifth wheel on the tractor and that's just a simple push fit and then you've formed your entire trailer in the standard configuration. When it's all joined up it all rolls pretty smoothly because the Conrad's engineering is really quite good and if you like the other thing you can do on this configuration is to fit the plastic deck plates which are supplied and that gives you a complete uh, low bed on which to carry some plant or equipment or whatever load you want to put on the truck. The rear end of the MAN chassis is pretty detailed but the functional steering means that that detail doesn't continue to the front end. The cab detail looks smart with light bars and aerials on the roof, colour coded door mirrors and sharp looking chevrons on the bumper at the front. The wheel hubs are detailed and the HN Kran livery has been produced well with very good graphics on the cab. Behind the cab the equipment tower is all metal and detailed and on top sits a fan with a mesh cover. 
At the rear the lights have plastic lenses but it's a pity there are no number plates on the model. The Goldhofer modules are standard Conrad parts with a strong metal structure and the axle parts are plastic. The gooseneck is pretty much all metal but it's well decorated with a reflective stripe down each edge. A good job has also been done with the graphics along the edge of the deck frame. Although the module detailing is fairly simple, the good graphics add to the overall look. And finally at the rear the light bar looks ok with detail that's painted on. Out on the test track the MAN tractor certainly rolls very well in a straight line. And if we look at the chassis functionality we see that the rear axles have a degree of float as normal for Conrad tractors. The link steering works reasonably well although it only has a short range of movement before the wheels are fouled by the wheel arches and it won't push but at least you can pose it being steered if that's what you like to see on display. The tractor cab tilts pretty well and can hold that pose and underneath there's a reasonable plastic engine which can be seen. And when you're done looking it closes up with a satisfying clunk. The Goldhofer module units have their normal functionality, they roll well in a straight line and each of the wheel sets has uh, up and down movement on a little cylinder. It's not uh, sprung movement but the movement is there. And if we work the steering on the four line unit you see that it is proportional so the wheels on the left i.e. at the rear turn more than those at the front so when you push it steering it traces out a realistic arc. But the main strength of these Goldhofer trailers is their flexibility. Firstly taking the standard configuration it's extendable for length and that's a smooth mechanism which just telescopes in or out as you need it. In addition to variable length you can have variable width and the deck frame does open up to produce a wider arrangement if that's what you want. It was very very stiff on the review model to open up but when you've done it you can then fix the width with some struts that are provided. There are three different lengths and it's probably as well just to trim the very ends off because of the moulding sometimes there are little bits on the ends which affect the ability to press them into place in the holes in the deck frames. When you've got it all fitted as shown here you've got a much wider deck frame and of course that's also extendable for length so you get a very large trailer indeed. And as always with any trailer model it always looks good to display it with some kind of load on. Another alternative configuration is to strip out the deck frame a bit and narrow it up. So you just take out the small bolts and then re-pin it into position uh, to form just a pair of narrow beams. And when that's done you can just hook them over the module adapter just as with the other deck configurations and then you formed a very long narrow deck beam and of course that's extendable too. This model looks very good in the colours of HN Krana. It also poses well with other similar models. It's got good detail and functionality and made in limited numbers it's quite rare. It is highly recommended. Yeah.